on Martin Luther King Way in Seattle's Central District is Estelita's library and bookstore. This is a, a small but powerful place. It's named after the young daughter of Edwin Lindo and his wife, Dr. Estelle Williams. He is an assistant dean of social and health justice at the University of Washington School of Medicine. She is a physician and assistant professor of general surgery at the UW Medical Center. Together, they are a dynamic activist couple that came up with the idea for this community library. We know that much of education hides the secrets of, of the world in books. I mean, there's books here that you will probably never find again. It is not meant to look like any other library in that it is curated with intention. You'll find the tactics of people of color, indigenous, black, uh, brown, individuals from all over the world have used in order to uplift themselves through fictional stories or what they've used to stage and successfully complete revolutions around the globe. And so we really want to uplift those voices and make for sure that this is, as the name and as our mission has stated, a social justice focused library. Estelle and Edwin came to Seattle in 2018 from the Bay Area. They found a diverse, welcoming community on Beacon Hill at the station coffee shop, where they often stopped by for coffee and conversation. They became connected with El Centro de la Raza and were thrilled to have their daughter Estelita attend preschool there. That inspired them to create the library that would offer books and much more. And I remember a dream of ours was how do we build a community space where our community can have the conversations about politics, about the economy, about revolution, about organizing, about self-determination, and bringing folks together to do that work. Estelita's library opened in the space that used to house the station before it moved to Plaza Roberto Maestas. In no time, it became the community place that Edwin and Estelle envisioned with all kinds of gatherings and special moments. The things that have started out of the tiny space that is Estelita's mm -hmm. is profound. From salsa and sangria, yeah. to chess, yeah. to um, there was a knitting club, um, to um, some of the volunteers that we had here who uh, were publishing their own books and then have gone on to you know expand that work. And there was someone who was unhoused, who came to the library, and I remember they're like, can I, can I take this book with me? And we said, yeah, absolutely. And someone in, in the, the area was like, Edwin, I don't think you're gonna get that book back. And I was like, watch. That unhoused person came back with crates of books and said, I wanna donate these to y'all. That's the power of community. After three years on Beacon Hill, Estelita's library moved to its current location in the Central District. It was the first grant recipient of Seattle's Office of Arts and Culture's Tiny Cultural Space Construction Program. It provided the unused property and partnered with Sawhorse Revolution, a nonprofit carpentry group for youth to construct the building. An older black woman who lives in the neighborhood came here when we had first finished and she said, I feel like my ancestors are here. COVID has limited the library's activities, but not its commitment to community. The same goes for Edwin and Estelle in their professional work. Edwin is a critical race scholar who works to make sure that healthcare curriculum at the UW School of Medicine reflects equity and inclusion. Besides working as a surgeon, Estelle heads up the outreach program Doctors for a Day, introducing youth of color to the healthcare field. The communities we represent, the backgrounds that we represent, Edwin's grandmother who um, raised him, helped raise him, who Estelle is named after, passed away from COVID. Um, and how do we bring those voices into these academic spaces? 
Ms. Stellan Edwin's commitment to community and social justice represents what the Roberto Maestas Legacy Award is all about. Former El Centro board member Brenda Williams says they live up to Roberto's legacy in every way. Because when they see a problem or a need in the community, they really can see the solutions. The rest of us might see barriers or how it might not be possible, but for Edwin and Estelle, what they say is, how can it be done and when will it be done, not can it be done. And there's no doubt Roberto Maestas would be proud of them. We're grateful and I, I hope, I hope that he's looking down and can be proud. Watch City Stream Tuesday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or find us anytime online at seattlechannel.org.